How does your media product represent particular social groups? Our product represents young girls as being innocent and extremely vulnerable. This is shown in our clip by the young girl playing the victim through the use of high angle shots. At the beginning, she is shown laughing with her friends. This connotes her to be fun and trusting. Later on in the clip, you can see her being followed as she is completely unaware. This sh shows young girls are vulnerable and unaware of the things going on around them. Our product also represents some younger men as untrustworthy and obsessive. This is shown in our clip by the young man playing the stalker through the use of low angle shots. This is first shown in a flashback of him following her out of the train station, just appearing to be a normal citizen. In this clip he is portrayed as just a general everyday guy. Later on in our product he is shown in a CCTV clip on the news reading. Here he is shown as possessive, obsessive. What kind of media institution might distribute your media product and why? YouTube is a great way for small companies and amateur filmmakers to distribute their product on a fairly larger scale and at no cost. YouTube is a great way in which you can reach an audience as anyone around the world can see it. However, you can not nearly make it enough money as a large companies who can distribute their films using vertical and horizontal integration. For example, A Field in England by Ben Wheatley used Film 4 Productions and Draft House Films to distribute his film in a very special way as he knew he couldn't compete with some of the large companies such as 20th Century Fox, Sony, Universal and Warner Brothers. The Field in England was released in cinemas, DVD and on Film 4 all at 9 o'clock on the 5th of July. By doing this, Ben Wheatley allowed himself a bigger, wider audience rather than relying on cinemas and then later on DVD and DV. Who would be the audience for your media product? For our product, the audience we are aiming for is age 15 and above. This is appropriate age for our product as the opening scene applies to the 15 certificate. The work as a whole must not endorse discrimination language or behaviour. Drug taking may be shown, but the film as a whole must not promote or encourage drug misuse. Promotion of drugs which are easy to obtain are unlikely to be allowed. Dangerous behaviour. For example, hanging, suicide and self-harming can be allowed provided the detail of such is low so that it cannot create too much of an impression of the viewer. Abuse of weapons which are easily obtained will not be tolerated. Frequent use of strong language can be permitted, although very strong language needs to be restricted and would be have to be seen as responsible and in context. Nudity in a sexual content must be restricted, however nudity in a non-sexual content does not. Sexual activity without a strong detail would most likely be allowed. As long as the film is appropriate for 15 year olds, no certain themes are prohibited. Violence may be strong but should not dwell on the implication of pain or injury. The strongest glory images are unlikely to be acceptable. The same applies to references. Any sexual violence should be dis discreet and, strong and strongly justified. How did you attract your audience? To attract our audience, we use characters around about the audience age so they can relate to them in a more personal way. What have you learned about technologies from the process of constructing this product? We first got given a video camera and assigned a task to practice with the range of camera shots. Once we were all familiar with these shots, we got set our preliminary task. For our preliminary task, we chose to do a silent movie. After doing all the filming, we uploaded all the shots onto an iMac and imported into Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro was at first a challenge to get used to and understand. After cutting, speeding up and putting all the clips together, we started to edit our title screens. Our title screens were fairly basic and simplistic, giving an old fashioned feel. After this was completed, we started to add music. Our music for this was downloaded from YouTube to the Mac and then imported and cut to size in Premiere Pro. When finished and saved, it was uploaded to YouTube. This was very simple and is done in stages set out by YouTube. We went through the same process for our two minute clip opening scene. 
However, for the music we use Audio Network to buy, download and import the chosen music. Looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learned in the progression from it to your field product? In the progression of our preliminary task to our final product of two minute opening scene, we have overcome many obstacles and challenges to get it complete. The preliminary task was very different to our final product as we were just starting to learn about the software we will be using, the tools we could use. During the creation of our preliminary task, we firstly practiced with the different shots to go with our storyline and shot them all in turn with our standard video cameras. After this, we imported them into Premiere Pro. The use of editing was very basic, just turning it into black and white, taking out the sound and adding in a soundtrack and adding title script. Because we had already learnt how to do the basics, it allowed us more time for us to play around with the editing on our final product. Whilst creating our two minute intro, we learnt that you need to have a good film basis before you can import and edit, and it, as it might not always make sense to the audience. This was a problem that we found and had to overcome. Because of this, we had to film on a second day in a different location. This did cause a bit of trouble with our final product. In effect of the filming not being quite what we wanted, we spent most of our time editing to give it a greater effect on the audience and will catch their attention. This did allow us to get to use a wider range of editing tools such as speed, titles, graphics and effects.